An inmate tells the News 4 Jacks I team there was growing coronavirus outbreak at the Duval County Jail. His phone call to News 4 Jacks came just one day after the jail announced a total of more than 550 nonviolent offenders were released to reduce the prisoner population since the pandemic began. Tarek is joining us now after speaking with that inmate who said he's already dealing with health issues. Tarek? Well, Tom, the inmate that we spoke with has chronic heart disease, and he tells me he is trying his best to avoid being affected with COVID-19. He says the conditions inside the prison, though, make it extremely difficult. It's a life-threatening situation for inmates with existing health conditions, living in close quarters and confined to very small areas. An inmate with heart disease says the coronavirus outbreak behind the walls of the Duval County Jail is only getting worse. They're spreading down here real fast. They're putting people in cells who don't have it with people who have it. The anonymous inmate says he's scared for his life because of his existing health conditions and what he calls an unsanitary environment. He says after his bunkmate was diagnosed with COVID-19, he wasn't tested for COVID-19, but instead quarantined. My roommate tested positive for coronavirus, and they moved him out of here, and I've been out in the cell with him. Yeah, I've been in the cell with the shoe for like two weeks. Did they test you afterwards? No. No, sir. A source inside the jail tells the News for Jack's I team inmates who test positive for the coronavirus are being quarantined on the fourth floor in dormitories. A spokesperson for JSO also says the following about how they're handling the increase in cases. The sheriff's office said today inmates are immediately removed from their dorm if they test positive or exhibit symptoms of COVID-19. People who may have been exposed are moved to quarantine to watch for symptoms. Everyone in the jail has been tested and all incoming inmates are tested as well. The sheriff's office said today out of the 2,162 inmates in the jail, 436 have tested positive, 25 are symptomatic and 411 are asymptomatic. And 1,292 inmates are categorized as precautionary inmates. These are inmates who have been tested and are awaiting results or decline testing and are quarantined. The inmate we spoke with says he doesn't feel like jail officials are taking measures to ensure that the virus doesn't spread. Living conditions, when they come through and spray them, they put you right back in the cell. The cells are contaminated and they put you right back in the cell. A sheriff's office spokesperson tells us that they are following all the CDC guidelines in the jail. They have only released nonviolent offenders. Nationally, the number of U.S. prison residents who test positive for COVID-19 was 5.5 times higher than the general population. That's according to the John Hopkins School of Public Health.